Hey there guys, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Jim Dunlop Flow Gloss Pick. I recently talked about this on my channel because I had some delivered. I've been quite excited about giving them a go. And what I wanted to do here is give them a full sort of overview for you guys. See what we think, see whether you like them. You can drop me a line in the comments so we can discuss what's going on with these picks. And uh, obviously what we can do in some future videos, we can be on the hunt to find the perfect plectrum. That is a journey that I've been on for quite a while. So let's get right into it with the flow gloss pick. Um, if you are liking the content, guys, please do give the channel a subscribe. That will really help me out making more of these kind of videos for you. Please do give it a like and share it to any of your guitar playing friends that might find this sort of thing useful. So obviously I picked up the first flow gloss pick about two weeks ago. So I've had this on trial. I've been using nothing else. I've been using it exclusively. Now the first thing that I wanted to check out with this is how it was going to stand up against the rigors of what someone like me does for a living. So I'm a guitar teacher. I teach guitar in schools. I teach online. I, so from my studio here, I teach one to one. I teach all kinds of lessons. So I play guitar all day, every day from the morning all the way through to the evening. So this pick has been absolutely punished. This is the first of a pack of 12 that I had a go with and I've been using it for absolutely everything. I mean general sort of strumming chords all the way through to you know lead guitar, rock sort of shred guitar, these kind of things. Um, so in the photos I'm going to put some uh, comparison up of a brand new flow gloss pick compared to this particular one that I've been using for the past couple of weeks and I think it has sort of withstood the the rigors of what I've put it through fairly well um one of the things that I have a bit of a, a beef with with these kind of plectrums that they you know it, it's not just a Jim Dunlop thing it's like all of these manufacturers now are telling you super hard wearing super resistant to your play wear and all that sort of stuff um the thing is, though, these people aren't going to be making any money if they sell one plectrum that lasts you a lifetime. They need you to be buying plectrums again and again, right? So the thing is, none of them are ever going to be quite as hard wearing as all of these guys make out. Um, and we get that. I'm sure, you know, well, of course we get that. We know that uh, these people want to make some money and, uh, you know, they've got to sell product. But... I do find it a little bit disingenuous when these these companies are going on about how super hard wearing these things are. One thing that I would say, though, I must say I have been recording. I've been, like I say, strumming, shredding. I've been doing all sorts of stuff with this pick and it has lasted pretty well. So I think for someone like me who's playing and teaching guitar a minimum of eight hours a day every day, I think that this has lasted pretty well. So the average um hobbying guitarist who's playing with one of these picks if you buy a pack of 12 as i did i think they're going to last you a long while now the thing is with this the next consideration when you're looking at stuff like this is price so uh, the pack of 12 was about 35 gb pounds i'm based in the uk so i don't know what the equivalent of that would be on on US dollars at the moment or whatever, but about 35 pounds for a pack of 12 picks, which a lot of people are gonna be going, oh, that sounds expensive, but trust me, I've tried everything from super high-end luxury picks where I've paid like 12 pounds for one plectrum, all the way down to, you know, like very, very standard stuff. Price-wise then, if these are gonna last ages, Let's say for me, I've got two weeks out of this before it's not as sharp as I would like anymore. So I want to go on to the next one. It's obviously going to last me a fair while. I would say that like the average, you know, one of my students who's a fairly diligent practicing guitar player, but they're not playing for the sort of like the eight hours a day that I'm playing. If you get a month out of one plectrum, then obviously the pack of 12 is going to last you a year. 35 quid for a year's worth of plectrums. It's not too bad. If it's something that 
helps you play better. Now, here is the thing. I get asked this all the time. Do picks actually make a difference? Well, this is this is a very long conversation, but I think the thing is, to a point, yes, you need a pointy plectrum. Now, does the Flow Gloss Pick deliver this? Yes, absolutely. So let's have a look at a brand spanking new one. A brand spanking new pointy one of these is super sharp. Now, what's got me into the, the flow picks is I started out when I was looking for a replacement for the Jazz 3. I've played tons of different picks. Uh, I did a video about the Jazz 3 uh, on the channel. Is it still the king of, of picks and all that sort of thing? Well, I've been looking for a replacement for it for a very long time. The flow pick Jumbo 2.0 has been my go to for quite a while. So that's this one here. I'll put a bit in the, uh, the photos of that for you as well. So, yeah, Flow Jumbo 2.0. I've really liked. Um, I like the grip area, I like how it feels in your hand. I like the sharp point. One of the things that I didn't like about this was just how chirpy it was. Let's just have a quick listen to this the standard Flow pick. So it's not, well, it's not the actual standard size, this is the Jumbo size. I'm going to play a standard sextuplet feel uh, C major kind of run. Let's see if you can hear any of that chirp. Uh, let's go for that again, just see if we can get some of that chirpy sound in there. So I'm not sure if that's going to be coming across too much on the recording for you guys, but if you're playing, well, I mean, obviously I'm recording voice and I, I think that the, the mic should be capturing some of the raw acoustic sound in the room. If you can pick up that chirp, one thing that I do prefer with actually the, uh, the flow gloss, because it's highly polished, I think it chirps a little less. So that was two mil. This one is also two mil. One of the differences in the ergonomics is that it's got a uh, it's got calves in it for your fingers indents and I do find them quite comfortable actually they're very very similar to what you'd find on a big stubby let's have a listen to this and see what you think to the tone <laughs> Personally, I find these, although they're made of the same Altex material as they are, I find them to be, they've got a bit more of that sort of snap and click about them than the chirp. <laughs> if I play that again on this, we'll go back to the, uh, this is the standard uh, two mil jumbo flow now. <laughs> And back to the flow gloss. So I put the, the difference isn't huge, but I definitely do find that in the room, for me, what I can hear on, on my actual guitar against the strings there, there is less chirp from these. How on earth that is happening, I don't quite know. It could be to do with the polish. Um, I don't think that it can be to do with the ergonomics because when we look at the bevel, the bevel on them is basically the same. It's almost the, the exact same pick except you've got the indents. One thing that's for certain, the Flow Jumbo pick is marginally bigger than the Flow Gloss. Um, I, I was a bit worried about this when I first opened the box on these and I thought mm, I'm not sure that this is going to cut it for me because I really like quite a big plectrum. Um, but actually, I've started to really get used to this over the two weeks that I've been using it. So also just have a quick listen to the, the one that I was using. I was just playing a brand new one there, but now I'm going to play the one that's been beveled in. See if there's a tonal difference if that one chirps less because I've beveled it. <laughs> Mm, 
interesting. What I didn't do as well, I was just trying those out on my neck humbucker. Let's just try these out on the bridge as well. So that's the flow gloss. Let's try that with the flow, the standard one. So for me, I can hear that chirp in there really, like it's quite prominent on the bridge humbucker. Back to the flow gloss, the brand new one. And the one that's been beveled. Horses for courses. There's a lot of people out there who do not like the pick chirp thing, and that is a big complaint that I've heard about the flows, that they are very, very chirpy. I must say, on the uh, the neck humbucker there, the flow gloss, it sort of, it just doesn't have it, it's just a bit snappy. So, um, in terms of its size and shape, it's lovely, it fits in your hand real nice, I love the finger indents. It also does have a bit of that grippy texture, it's not quite the the bumps that you find on the the normal flow that sort of cut into the plectrum it's almost like they feel as if they've been printed in in fact i would go as far as to say that they have because if i go back to my old one yeah you can see where I, as you scratch them off then there's uh, there's nothing there it's just pure plectrum so they have actually been printed in that, that grip area but I would say that with the the indents plus that's the uh, the texture that's been printed in they're super grippy they sit in your hand absolutely perfect i love the polish actually on the flow gloss um they do feel a bit weird although they're two mil they sort of feel a little bit more because they've got the finger indents they feel like a thinner plectrum in your hands than the the standard uh, flow and um that is that is quite interesting like you do you feel like you've got loads of control over this one not that you didn't feel like you had loads of control over the normal flow um i would suggest anyone who's thinking about these get yourself a pack of either like the the standard and the flow gloss and then decide for yourselves which one you want my verdict well i am a big fan of flow picks i think that they're really nice um, they're really, really, they're, they're fast, you know, they're great for the shredding thing, like they just fly off of the string, super comfortable, sit in your hand real nice. I think tonally, I do prefer the Flow Gloss. Um, I just, from my personal perspective, think I would like them to make the Flow Gloss just that marginal, slightly little bit bigger than the, as they do for the, the Flow Jumbo. If they make them, is it going to be my perfect plectrum? I don't know that there is such a thing, but I will keep looking. I will say that I really like them and they are going to be a part of my sort of uh, rig, really, from now on in. Really cool picks. Obviously, I'll be playing them for a while because I've got the pack of 12. Um, and yeah, there you go. They are worth checking out and I would seriously recommend that you do. Go and get yourself a pack, have a play. Uh, but play both the standard flow and those as well and, and decide for yourselves which one you prefer. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you've enjoyed the content. Like I say, please do subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and share it to some of your guitar playing friends that may find it useful and may be interested to find out about these kind of picks. Uh, on the channel coming up, I have loads of recommended books, CDs coming out. I've got loads of lessons and there are some really big announcements coming soon actually for you guys. So keep an eye out for all of those and I will see you soon. Take care. <laughs>